Hello everyone! Do you remember me? Of course you do! You were there the last time! You were here the last time! Remember sitting on this chair with me, watching me? Of course you do! This is Antonio speaking. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 100 Monkey Theory. This is a very, very important story. Actually, it was a test done by scientists in 1952 in the islands of Kushima in Japan. Now, uh, the reason why I want to talk about this story, and I have some drawings here for you to watch as I speak, is the impact you and I have in the world, having the system that we don't even know, or we're not conscious about it. Okay, do you know the story? Maybe you don't. You see, back in 1952, 1952, in Koshima, Japan, scientists fed uh, sweet potatoes to monkeys. Uh, so, what they did was throw the potatoes on the beach, in the sand, and monkeys love the sweet potatoes and they start eating them. But you see, the potatoes had sand in them which doesn't make it too comfortable to chew, as you may well imagine. One monkey, just one, one monkey, went to the water and just passed the potato through the water and then began to eat it. Now, there's a big difference eating a potato with sand and the potato moist and without sand. Uh, sure enough, the other monkeys saw it, felt it, and began to do the same thing. Before long, all the monkeys in the island were doing the same thing. It's like a chain reaction, domino effect. Okay, so far, there's really nothing extraordinary about this experience. Now, what happened was that a few, just a few years later, in another island that had absolutely no communication, no connection whatsoever with this island also have monkeys and they also throw potatoes in the beach and sure enough these monkeys were also washing the potatoes in the water now the question is how come how come the message traveled kilometers through the water into the other island? See, there, there can be many theories. There can be many theories. But the one I want to share with you, the one I strongly... See, I don't want to say believe because believe is a problem in itself. See, it's like me telling you, I believe my neighbor is called Mike. You see, there's no assurance in that statement. I believe is called Mike. But if I tell you I know is Mike, then it's assured. See, I cannot prove it to you that I'm not here to prove anything. This is something we individually live as we go. I know this to be so. I know this to be so. And I let you do the contemplation, meditation, whatever it takes you to get to that level if you are not already. Now, you see, we call it the critical mass. One monkey, two monkeys, three monkeys, and as you go up in the scale, as soon as they hit the 100 mark, 
there was like a, a burst, an explosion, a transmission, whatever you want to call it, of information and frequency that went elsewhere. Okay, well, let me put it to you this way. You have a cell phone, and I have a cell phone, and we're here about like four or five feet away from each other. Now I'm going to dial your number from this phone, and your phone is going to ring, and you answer the phone, and I begin talking. So I'm talking to you and you're talking to me. But the reality that we don't see, the reality is nothing is going from this phone to that phone or vice versa. Nothing. Nothing. It's an illusion in itself. What is happening here is that my phone is connected to a network somewhere in a satellite where your phone is also connected. So, what is happening when we hit a critical mass is that we are all connected to the cosmos. You see, that's where the apple seed is connected. Everything is connected. Everything. So, once we eat, once they hit, once we hit, a critical mass, it just goes everywhere. Example, it happened hundreds of times. I'm sitting at the table or in my sofa. We're watching TV. We're not talking, me and my wife. We're just watching TV. And suddenly I'm thinking about somebody and sure enough, my wife asked me, so did she call? Have you? I was just thinking about that. You see, how many times did this happen to you? Hundreds. How come? Something is going from your head to the other head? No. It's frequencies to the connection of the cosmos. Get it? So, it is very important very important for us to know this. Why? Well, let's move to the other board. This is you or me, but now let's say this is you. And better, better yet, this is me. I'm going to put myself on the board. So, this is me in a physical body. Now, this physical body you're looking at right now just like the phone. See, you, you may be yelling at the phone, you may be laughing at the phone, you may be whatever with the phone, but I guarantee you there's nobody in the phone. Nobody. It's a frequency. So this physical body that is made of carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen and water, particles and, and so on, that is constantly changing six billion cells a day, is not me. I use it to speak, to do, to experience, to memorize. But this is not me. Okay? So, that is my body. That's the device I'm using in this specific life. And, of course, I'm connected to the cosmos. Now, I live based on, based on fear, doubt, hate, envy, victim, guilt, vengeance, racism, etc. So th these are the frequencies that surround my being. So in other words, my mind accepted this to be my reality. Okay, so it's in my mind, and it goes to my heart. It goes into my aura, that magnetic field that surrounds our body. Not necessarily seen by everyone, but it's there. Everything on earth has an aura, or a magnetic field of information, 
even the Earth seen from space has an aura. So, what I do is, before I move any further, I drew a horse, a mountain, a star, the moon, a bird, a bigger bird, Saturn, a tree, the ocean, and a fish. I could draw, draw many other things, but this is what I drew for you. Believe it or not, your energy that vibrates touches everything. Touches everything. But I have to tell you this. If you vibrate on this low frequency, low frequency because all of this is in the dark. See, fear, doubt, victim, guilt, hate, vengeance, uh, uh, racism, envy. It's lower vibrations, lower frequencies. I, I believe you get this. I mean, I believe you believe this. I, uh, you, anyway, that's lower. That's dark. That's low. So what I'm trying to say is that it will not go very, very, very far because it's a low dense, it's low energy. But it will affect my immediate surroundings. And when I say my immediate surroundings, it could be a couple of a couple of kilometers or even more. My family, my house, everywhere I go, supermarket, at work, and so on. So that's the energy I carry that impacts every living thing and even the earth itself, okay? Uh, like plants and stuff. So if I am aware of the impact I can have in the world, and I begin to learn about myself, who I really am, and then I lose fear, I doubt no more, I don't hate, no victim in me, not guilt, no vengeance, no racism, no envy. It, it, it sounds good <laughs> and it feels good too. Okay, so all this is gone, gone. I, I, I become a walker, enjoy life, dance with life. And I begin to embrace and accept the energy of acceptance, equality, union, love, harmony, respect, responsibility. No judgment. No judgment. See, I know many of the things I'm saying you already heard a million times. But we don't necessarily live it. And we should. We should not only know, because knowing is good, but practicing is better, or is higher. So, let's say I embark in this frequency. Well, obviously it is a higher, but much higher vibration, so I do touch the entire world, go all the way to the galaxy. That's what I mean by the 100 monkey theory, a critical mass. So today we are the 10th. And this is, the, this is why I haven't even prepared this video. I just put it on and hopefully it only gets fast to whoever it needs to go to. Tomorrow is the 11th. 11 of 11, tomorrow. Well, in numerology, this is very, very strong, very powerful. So. You see, I'm not, I'm not asking you, well, I don't ask you anything, but I'm not, you know, telling you or asking you to um, embark in this energy or do uh, one hour or half an hour of meditation or whatever. No. Just think about it. Maybe you're riding in the bus. Maybe you're stuck in traffic. Wherever you are. Just think about this. Oh, today is November 11. It's a very, very high frequency. Let me at least have a positive thought towards the universe, towards this earth, towards everybody. See, Donald Trump was elected. And it's been a, it's been a very interesting 
past year, or maybe even more. And against all odds, he was elected. You see, why was he elected? Because the energy, the frequency we are living on Earth right now, made that happen. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? In my view, in my philosophy, nothing is good and nothing is bad. Everything is what it needs to be at the time that it needs to be. I mean, we all know that we need a change in politics. So, us, without even knowing or being conscious about it, we raised an energy to a point where we want to break the status quo. Break it. Chance it. Maybe he'll be the best president we ever knew. Maybe. One thing is for sure. Many, millions of people, millions of people on earth put their focus, attention on this. And without even knowing, you know, the critical mass, the critical mass, we made that to happen. I'm sorry to say this, you may not agree with me, but don't shoot the messenger. A critical mass also created Hitler. A critical mass created Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, and so on. And if you are like me, I judge nothing. I observe and I learn from. See, I became a sponge. I absorb. I want to know. I want to study. I want to experience. In respect and responsibility. Okay, so tomorrow, 11th of the 11, it's a very high energy on Earth. Maybe you want to have at least one positive thought towards humanity. You see, it's very individual. I, tomorrow, for sure, will think about four situations that, in my view, need good energy. People, even animals, countries. I'm not going to tell you, and you don't have to tell anybody yours. Just think about four things that need an injection of positive energy. Just by thinking, you will raise your energy, you will raise it. To touch the cosmos. That's how it works. I just wanted to share this video with you. It is not a video that was studied and you know put together so that it can have a very huge impact. No, it was just a sharing thing. Okay? This is a true story. Critical mass. Critical mass. It's I know it's more than talked about. You probably heard it before in other areas. But this is a true story, old, 1952, that made the scientists think. How? Oh, uh, give me, uh, let me give you another example. How come there are pyramids in Egypt and in Mexico and Japan and a little bit everywhere in this world? Why? Because back then we could travel very fast and change or exchange information and plans to build pyramids? Think about it. Critical mass. We began to do things in a certain way and it was uh, of such impact that it went out as frequencies and it touched other places. Okay? Before I finish, please at least consider checking, analyzing which kind of energy do you transport? This or this? It is up to you. It's your choice. You're free to do whatever you want. If you choose to transport fear, guilt, hate, envy, judgment, and so on, you can. You're allowed. But that is exactly what's going to come back to you 
in return. That is for sure. If you choose to shift, okay, you know what? If I can't help society, humanity with positive thinking and positive feeling, it's not with negative thinking and negative feeling that I'm going to do it. I mean, we all, we are, we're all clear about that. That's for sure. Okay, so why not begin to acceptance? You see, I accept that you are this way and that way. That doesn't mean I have to go to bed with you. But I need to accept that you are. See, like when we say Namaste. Namaste is I salute the divinity in you. I recognize your existence. And I honor your existence. By doing this, I get the return. Because if I live with honoring, loving, appreciating, accepting, the mirror is going to return that to me. And then suddenly, I'm having a better life. Suddenly, I embark in a wonderful synchronicity. And then I become lucky. That's what a lot of people think about me, that I'm lucky. I am not lucky. I just plug myself to the right frequency. Why didn't you? Or why don't you? Okay? So tomorrow, November 11th, I invite you to have at least four positive thoughts towards something that you feel it needs that injection of positive energy. Okay? Thank you very much. This is Tony speaking. It was a pleasure, a wonderful pleasure talking to you. Bye-bye.